Well, poppy sales are on a record-breaking pace this year. Demand is so high, the Royal Canadian Legion says they could run out before Remembrance Day. I know I'm on my third or fourth already. The CBC's Greg Ross has more. Volunteers at this Royal Canadian Legion in Scarborough have had their work cut out for them this year. The demand for poppies, trying to keep up with the demand. Wayne Powell is the district poppy chair for Toronto. He says his phone has been ringing off the hook. It's constantly, every single day since the kickoff of the, the poppy campaign, I get calls on my cell phone while I'm dealing with one, I end up with two voice messages. The Royal Canadian Legion distributed 19 million poppies across Canada this year. Powell says the demand is a direct reaction from Canadians after two soldiers were killed in separate attacks last month. This year it seems to have taken on a whole new meaning. Corporal Nathan Cirillo and Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent were both targeted and killed. Both were wearing their military uniforms. Bought one for every one of my jackets. It's great to support like the cause and it's great to remember and especially in this month. It's very important to remember the guys that sacrificed their lives for our freedom in this country. And we have a great country. It just encourages those that are in the military to know that we do care about what they're doing for us. At this mosque in Maple, members of the Woodbridge Legion stood shoulder to shoulder with Canadian Muslims in a pre-Remembrance Day ceremony. Loyalty to the country is part of our faith. The Muslim community here says it wanted to show support for the poppy campaign. It means that we must continue to live, uh, love our country. It means that we should not forget the sacrifices of others. And it means that if the time comes, we should be in the forefront to uh, give our lives to save this country. Thanks, Greg. That was Greg Ross reporting from Toronto. And a reminder that we will have full coverage of the Remembrance Day ceremony in Ottawa right here on CBC News Network. Peter Mansbridge will host our live coverage from the National War Memorial beginning at 10 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday.